He's got a little bit of milk in his mouth, so he looks like he's got like one tooth, like a sort of American hick. Hello, Jethro. <laughs> we need to put a wash on. I literally, all I can think is everything just smells of sour milk. Oh, all I can smell is sour milk. Yeah, do you not feel that your own wee smells like sour milk? Yeah. It, it does. does. It actually does. I'm not even drinking it. Congratulations, congratulations, burn in hell. I mean, Gareth did turn around to me this morning and said, by the way, at some point we do have to have sex. Three minutes of recording is all it took for you to start talking about our sex life. Three minutes is our sex life to yeah. No, what is all this crap? Look at this. That looks like something that should have gone down with the Titanic. I'm a bonus auntie. I never, ever thought this would happen. I just think what they've done is absolutely incredible. So today is a huge day as we're filming the first ever episode of our podcast, Newly Dads. And actually for the first time, you feel utterly broken today, don't you? It's usually me. Yeah, I don't know why I feel like I've actually hit breaking point. They were so good when they came home. I don't really understand what's going on. It's because now they're teenagers. So I said that I'm going to have them sleep train within a month. And I've, just, I've got, technically I've got two weeks, but they've only been home two weeks. So I'm so frantic. happy you've taken this challenge on. I literally was frantically Googling at like three this morning. Little man. <laughs> I'm going to miss you guys today, but we've got to go in and some money to pay for this. Oh. Is it controversial to say that I'm actually excited about an hour off? I literally looked Apollo dead in the eyes last night and I was like, you know what you're doing. You know you're keeping me awake. He's testing me. And now they're sleeping now. He's okay. trying to break me. What time is it now? We need to go. All right, we need to go because actually you've got an appointment in 20 minutes. Cool, great. Okie dokie, right. See you in a bit. All right, love you. Bye. We have our amazing nanny, Ella, looking after the twins. So we can go and do the podcast and work out what on earth we're going to talk about. How, is this, how are we going to be funny? Because I'm literally feeling the least funny I've ever felt ever. OK, well, no, I'll, I'll lead it then. Okay. We get to talk about ourselves a lot. We get to talk about ourselves and about being dads for the first time. And actually, I think there's quite a lot of content, quite a lot of funny things. It is the worst thing about doing someone else's podcast is when you have to talk about them. It's like going on a date. You don't really want to be interested in what they're doing. You just want to hear about what stories you're going to come up with, really. That's yeah. my favourite part of a date back in the day. I don't know what I'm going to come out with. It's quite fabulous. I realise that actually, no, every single date with, uh, with you after that has been exactly that. You, you, talk, you talk about yourself an inordinate amount of the time. It's not my fault. I'm exciting. So I'm trying my best to bring some energy to the proceedings today. However, I'm pretty sure that Cosmo and Apollo have got to you finally today. I feel like they know what they're doing. No, I think it's because they were so good because at that time they were kind of preterm and now they're sort of term and now they're deciding to act like babies instead of in the womb. I just feel like they, I feel they're organized. I feel that they're, they're against us. And I feel like they've got a plan. There's no way they could have pulled off what they did like in the last two nights without. They're organized. It's like an episode of Boss Baby. It's like they're plotting against you. They are. Well, just focus on the podcast and our fabulous YouTube channel, which, by the way, is actually doing very, very well. So thank you all so much for watching. Did you see the message from YouTube? YouTube actually sent congratulations this message as well. Thanks, YouTube. Love this. Most of them are all good. Some of them bad. I thought Gareth had been replaced by a younger man. Looks amazing. Well, this is one of those things. I honestly, I get about 20 messages a day asking if I've had work done. Yes, I have had work done. Um, <clears throat> I lost weight and had work done. Congratulations, congratulations. Burn in hell. Congratulations. Not burn in hell. No, it's not burn in hell. Some people are so like, do you know what? I'm, on the YouTube channel, it's actually fine. It's on Twitter or things like that, where people have been like, wrong, like buying babies, doing all this, blah, blah, blah. People are so misinformed when it comes to like, surrogacy in the UK. It's like, extraordinary. It's, it's, it's that surrogacy stupid forum that basically the anti-surrogacy and calling us human traffickers. I don't even know how that would even, that's extraordinary. Of course, someone's just said, how much did you pay for them? Great, they're getting some money back from YouTube to help cover because not being paid by YouTube. FYI, and also you don't pay for you don't pay for surrogacy in the UK. It's not commercial surrogacy. It is actually completely altruistic. And they're biologically so, our children. They're biologically our children. People are just so basically what they see is the stuff in America or like you know in other countries where you some woman is paid a ridiculous amount of money to do this, and she's choosing the money more than choosing the option to do it. That's not the way it is in the UK. And some like. That's one of the things I like, like why we want to do this is because it's nice to be able to 
sort of highlight that and you know just show people that they're what the actual truth is in the UK. It's actually quite difficult not to get upset about this kind of stuff. I wish people would understand that surrogates in this country don't get paid. It's someone doing something incredible for someone that can't have a family of their own. I mean, these babies are genetically ours. They're our genes. And I just wish people would get their facts straight and know what they're talking about before they start hurling abuse online at us or anyone. If you do want to have a look at a surrogacy journey, then look at our Bex episode because that's on our YouTube channel and you can learn a little bit more about surrogacy and the journey we've been through. Thanks so much, mate. See you later. Have a good one. Oh. Cheers, man. Have a lovely rest of the day. Cheers. All right, here we go. This way. So the intro will kind of be a little bit of a setup of like, people know you guys and they know what you're doing and you have your YouTube channel, but also it'd be great to have a little bit of like how you guys got to where you are today. Have you guys done podcasts before? You guessed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I do a podcast with Sophie Hammond with Friends with Benefits. I'm just oh, yeah. My mum was a radio presenter for the BBC for a long time. So and she also has her own podcast now, which she loves telling us about. Who, what, what did your mum present? All radio, local radio, uh, BBC stuff. Southampton, Dorset, and the Isle of Wight. It is showtime, time for our first record. I think you enjoy this more than I do, you know. You are the ultimate oversharer. <laughs> you, you honestly make me sound like a, well, like a wild gossip. Your nickname is literally the Chelsea Cry around where we live. So hi everyone and welcome to Newly Dads, which is our new podcast with myself, Ollie Locke. Locke? Me, his husband, Gareth Locke. Locke. I think it's fair to say that last night was one of the most difficult of nights with the babies. I think the last two nights. But there, there, there are lots of things that have changed during this situation. I mean, Gareth did turn around to me this morning and said, by the way, at some point we do have to have sex. This is very true, yeah. And that, but I mean, I, I'm aware of that, but I said there is a time and a place, Gareth. I think probably not the first three months when the kids are in our room. Oh, I feel like that's a bit dodgy. Well, no, I'm with you entirely, but I mean, I don't, that's not something that I personally feel that I don't need that as much as you do. Well, I'm so glad I bought the cow and just didn't try to milk. Three minutes of recording is all it took for you to start talking about our sex life. Three minutes is our sex life, too. Yeah. It, it's sometimes, as you get a bit older, uh, the cow gets more drained and sometimes just becomes a bit feral and... and uh, You're a heifer. You're an old heifer in the field. I'm happy in my field raising my brood. For the first step, I think that's that's gone pretty uh, swimmingly. I, I had really good fun. I really enjoyed this. Yeah, yeah, I really yeah, enjoyed yeah, it you, too. Yeah. Great team, guys. However much fun that was, it's time to get back to our beautiful babies. Hello. 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 Hi, doggies. Hi. I know, hi. So they're all fine? All good. You might not have been with us, but you've been, you've been talked about for the last few hours. I literally loved that, I think it was so fun, but also really therapeutic. We're very lucky that we get to be able to do something like that and then, you know, come back to them this time. We're not out all day. Let's go and make sure you haven't done a turd. <sighs> Shameless plug here, if you're enjoying our Daddy Diaries on YouTube, make sure you check out our brand new podcast, Newly Dads. Download from wherever you get your podcasts now. You always wanted to say that. I really have, I have, I have. Uh, but as fun as this morning was, it's this afternoon we've really been looking forward to. Are you excited? Yeah. Meeting Apollo and Cosmo for the first time. Yeah. So family are incredibly important to us. So it's really exciting that my sister Amelia, her husband James, and Alice and Edward are coming to meet the babies for the very first time. This is Apollo. Hello, Apollo. Right. This is Cosmo. <laughs> These are really small nails. They're really small nails, aren't they? Mm. He's small. <laughs> he is small, isn't he? Mm. Seeing my children with their cousins was really special. They've just been so excited to meet them. He was smaller than you when you were born. I met you the day you were born. Yeah. Mm, day after. The island was airing on TV when he, when he was born. Oh. Yeah. You were killing crocodiles. It was actually quite magical to see my niece and nephew with the twins. Yeah, it's always quite nice just obviously having people who have been through it and, you know, you can always get their advice. She does love giving advice. Almost a bit too much. First one. Nappy San. <laughs> <laughs> what does Nappy San do? Nappy San really dissolves poo on baby's clothing. That kills. Oh, hang on a minute. So this, if this can get like a germ poo killer. out of things, I imagine you can get everything out of things. Yeah, right? yeah, it's amazing. This might actually change our lives. I'm already really bored of trying to get poo out of baby grows. Like you do the washing. I oversee the washing. That, what is that? Oh. So Oliver and I both had this when we were babies. Edward and Alice both had it. 
It's very precious. Do not throw it in the bin. What is it? Made in Western Germany. Ah, it says good. The, it that's says, how old it is. It says in the back, made in Western <laughs> yeah, Germany. Yeah, that's how old it is. That's, so that's what the wall came down in 89? Great. Um, I have two half presents because I can't find the other two halves. But here's one shoe. I gave these to yes, Edward. I know you did. <laughs> but do you remember, you, they were like nine month old shoes yeah, and he was two. This is how little we knew about kids. Because basically, if you look at the bottom of them... It doesn't even have a you, sole. No, it doesn't have a sole because it's for crawling. <laughs> Edward wasn't crawling. But you've only got one. Yes, I, I will find the other one. Sort of like baby and Cinderella. here's another singular shoe. <laughs> Stop treating me. It started off so well with champagne and nappy sand, and now I've got a singular shoe and some horrid, horrid 40-year-old clothing. No, what is all this crap? <laughs> we were having a clear out at home. When, when I had Edward, Mum presented me with a wicker basket of crap from our childhood. So I now, my friend, slippers. it's yours. Slippers. slippers! It's someone knitted in the 80s. That's so kind. Oh, look, it's a beret. Alice, please put this on. Amelia, can you smell this, please? <laughs> What's that smell like? It smells like 1987. It smells like bonfire and old people. This is a sweet little nighty. Yes, for a dead Victorian <laughs> child. <laughs> the thing is, after five years with you, I no longer find this stuff weird. This clothing ritual thing your family has, it's normal to me now. As if your family are completely normal too. Peaked bonnet. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it might actually come back into fashion, some of this crap. <laughs> oh, oh, you're going for nautical. Look. Look at this. What's that? That looks like something that should have gone down with the Titanic. Um, this is all, I, I can't accept it, I really can't. Well, I'm I mean, afraid, I really can't. I'm afraid this is all family heirlooms. Well, I'm absolutely delighted with the champagne. So I'm going to go and Thank put you this in the fridge the so we can have you. this later. All joking aside, this is the moment we've been waiting for for so many years, our family meeting our babies for the very first time. You know, I, I'm, I'm a bonus auntie. I never, ever thought this would happen. I just think what they've done is absolutely incredible and there's so much positivity and people that have got their backs, but there's so much hate out there as well and they are just gonna smash through that. Like, they are so strong and these babies have got all the love that they could ever need to become amazing people. The most enormous amount of crap has just landed in my house. I have absolutely no interest. That is going straight to the charity shop. Like, it might have some sentimental, but I don't remember any of that stuff. I really don't. Like, it's like, oh, do you remember wearing this? No. But that's very kind of Amelia for palming off with our 80s crap that we used to wear. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you love this, make sure you check out our podcast, Newly Dads, available to download wherever you get your podcasts from. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel here. And also you can catch up on any episodes you might miss so far. Lots of love, team. Thanks for watching. See you soon.